Angel alert! With recent market shifts and closures of some reverse mortgage companies, SunWest remains over 40 years strong and a long-standing leader in reverse mortgage lending. We're here for you and for your borrowers. At SunWest, we understand how important it is to meet your clients' expectations. So why not exceed them by closing their reverse loan fast? Go to heckam.swmc.com for all the information you'll need to use our simple tools, submit your reverse mortgage loans for immediate approval, and make your originations fast. If you'd like to learn more about reverse mortgage loans and why they're so popular in today's market, join us on Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific for a live anonymous webinar. Go to heckam.swmc.com for more information. See you Friday. Welcome to The Interest. I'm Christine Stewart. As the market rebalances, trade organizations are turning their attention to a proposed water regulation. But first, what's happening in the private lending space? We caught up with Erica LaCentra and Melissa Deal at the New England Mortgage Expo to get the scoop. Investors are coming back into the space. They feel a little bit more comfortable. As the housing market rebalances, private investors could soon spring back into action. Buyers weren't the only ones scared away in the second half of 2022 as the combination of high prices and rates made flipping unprofitable. Um, that shook up some investors, and we saw some sitting on the sidelines in 2022. House Lending's Melissa Deal told originators at the New England Mortgage Expo that investors have options if they want to avoid a loss. They could refinance their loan into something that works for a rental property, or they could sit and wait to get the price they want. But the right choice will depend on your client. People have different levels of how much capital they have, how much risk tolerance that they have, and whether they need that money out right then. But Erica Lacentra of RCN Capital says depreciation is only a problem in a few locations where price growth is cooling after an explosion early in the pandemic. For most of the country, profit is there for patient investors. They're not going to see depreciation that's going to be so significant as long as they're able to hold on to their assets. So how do you guide your investors to a profit? Lacentra says investors are going to be opting for rental properties in the first part of the year. Buyers are staying put, which means rental demand will stay strong. It's also going to be hard to turn a quick profit because even though prices have come down, low inventory means sellers still have some negotiating power. But I think especially for investors, that's going to be their biggest challenge. Not rates, but still being able to find that property and that deal that's going to work out. But industry experts are hopeful more homes will come onto the market later this year, giving investors the ability to get the right price. We also may see an influx of older homes as elderly homeowners look to downsize. These homes can be ripe for a fix and flip. The houses that need to be flipped are out there. It's just a matter of freeing them up to the investor population. You can learn more about working with private investors on The Principal, the Mortgage News Network's daily podcast. Available wherever you get your podcasts. For the Mortgage News Network, I'm Mike Savino. Thanks, Mike. In other news, a top executive with Rocket Companies says first-time homebuyers could be a driving force in the housing market in 2023. Rocket CFO Brian Brown told Fitch Ratings that a dip in home sale prices would benefit first-time homebuyers who were pushed out of the market in 2022. Brown also predicts that the industry will see between $1.7 and $1.9 trillion in loan volume this year, which has been the average if you take out 2020 and 2021. And he expects this will be a balance of refi and purchase loans. Brown is confident Rocket will, will be well positioned to bring in borrowers even in a purchase market because it engages customers across multiple platforms, including direct-to-consumer, partnerships with big banks, and through brokers. Brown did also say that Rocket has a goal of $2 billion in cost reductions for 2023 to maintain cash flow and liquidity. But he did not elaborate on how the company will reach that figure. Coming up, a new rule defining waterways in the United States is bringing together some strange bedfellows, including home builders. Morgan of SunWest Mortgage is here to change the world of loan originations forever. From sending updates to your clients to allowing you more time, you can do it all in a simple chat. You no longer have to struggle with documents. 
All you need to do is select the files and upload them, and they're submitted in an instant along with your loan file. With SunWest, your true home is always within. Welcome back. Late last year, the Environmental Protection Agency redefined what it considers a waterway in the United States. The rule details what bodies of water the federal government regulates under the Clean Water Act. But more than a dozen groups say the new definition goes too far and that the agency didn't properly seek input from the public before imposing the new rule. The National Association of Home Builders and Realtors are among 17 groups seeking to stop the EPA and the Army Corps of Engineers from imposing the new definition. A federal lawsuit filed last week says the new definition creates impossible and unpredictable burdens on landowners, users, and purchasers. The groups claim the expanded definition will give regulators jurisdiction over a staggering amount of dry land and water features across the country. This includes limiting how owners can use a sometimes wet feature on their properties. NAR President Kenny Parcell says the realtors support protecting waterways, but this new rule puts sorely needed infrastructure projects at risk and threatens to make housing even more expensive for American families. Other parties to the lawsuit include the Farm Bureau and Petroleum Institute, National Multifamily Housing Institute, and the Public Lands Council, among other groups. We'll be right back with what else is interesting. I had to watch him go from so capable to a different person altogether, and it was really hard. We're hoping that this message gets to veterans out there who are in similar search struggles. That's how fast Southwest worked. It was truly amazing. It makes me very happy to know that there's a company out there that cares so much, that they go through so much to help because we never expected this, never. SunWest understands that your success is built one family at a time. Visit sunwestpartners.com. Welcome back. Here's what else is interesting. Black workers, young workers, and people on the bottom of the income scale were among those who saw the largest pay increases last year. Median weekly earnings for all workers were 7.4% higher at the end of 2022, according to the Department of Labor. For some workers, the gains were even larger. The median raise for Black Americans employed full-time was 11.3% compared with the prior year. Weekly pay for workers between 16 and 24 years old rose more than 10%. The bottom tenth of wage earners, those who make about $570 a week, saw their pay increase by nearly 10%. Wage growth was uneven across racial groups. The median black workers' weekly pay increased at the fastest rate among those measured, growing to $896 from $805 a year earlier. The median Hispanic or Latino worker saw a 4.8% 4, 4 raise to $837 a week. And white and Asian workers saw wage growth slightly higher than the overall workforce. For more on these and all of today's top stories, visit themortgagenewsnetwork.com.